Mario Kart 8! I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain Mario Kart to you. You know what Mario Kart is, so I'm only going to concentrate on what's new, different, and improved, or made worse. The game controls really well using the Wii U gamepad. Motion controls for driving is still stupid, but thankfully that's set to off by default. Both the gamepad and the Pro Controller work great for it, so you won't have to worry about discomfort while playing. Once again, there are 32 courses, 16 new ones and 16 classic ones updated for Mario Kart 8. I actually really like a lot of the new courses. The airport one is cool, the cloud one is cool. I didn't feel like there were any that I disliked. The classic courses don't have the best selection, probably because they've already used most of the good ones for the previous games. Plus, like, three of them are from Mario Kart 7, which we just got a couple of years ago. There is one standout classic course returning from Mario Kart 64, which I won't spoil what it is, but chances are you'll be disappointed with the changes they made to it. The new anti-gravity bits in the courses are cool and do add in an extra layer of strategy. You can bump into other carts to give each other a speed boost. You can also use that speed to force them to shoot off the track. A few courses have bumpers in the track itself you can use to spin off of, and it works well. For those brief anti-gravity moments, you go from avoiding everything to hitting everything you can. Item selection is about the same as always. There are a few new ones. The boomerang is sweet, especially if you get a double hit off. The piranha plant doesn't seem as useful. It usually ends up giving small speed boosts repeatedly instead of biting anyone. And the music box, if for the only reason that it gets rid of blue shells, should be kept forever. Online play works great, butter smooth and lagless whenever I play. Depending on how many people there are and where they're from, some races will take a bit more than others to start up, but after they do, there aren't any issues. Another new feature is Mario Kart TV. At the end of any race, you can view a highlight reel of everything that just went down almost immediately. And you have a lot of options to tweak in this highlight reel. You can focus on specific drivers, different kinds of action like items or drifting, and you can change how long the highlight reel is. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, or the entire race. And you can upload these onto YouTube for easy sharing. But it's more limited if you do. You can't do the whole race, only the one minute reel at max. You also can't choose the camera angles or anything for yourself, and the constant dip to black may annoy some viewers. Some more editing options would have been amazing in this, especially since when watching it on your own you can do fast forwards, rewinds, and slow motion. But none of that transfers to the YouTube version. The upload is also maxed to 720p, which isn't a big deal because it's still a great looking game, but the option would have been nice. I actually uploaded some of these myself, so if you want to get an idea of what the highlight reel is like, just go to my channel and check them out. The whole thing is limited, but it's a step in the right direction. If they can improve upon this for other games, say like Smash Brothers, it would be incredible. But for now, it'll be quickly forgotten after a week or two. My biggest complaint comes with one of the most iconic features of the Mario Kart franchise, the battle mode. It's fundamentally still the same, with one big exception. The tracks you play on. You can play on any track from the game and go in any direction on them, and that's it. There aren't any cool arena-style tracks like the previous games. Seriously, how many times did we play Mario Kart 64's Block Fort or Double Dash's Pipe Plaza? It does give several more tracks to play on, yes, but man, without arena-style tracks, it's lame. This is easily my least favorite battle mode. Thankfully, the core racing is still very, very good, and everything happens faster. If you get hit by an item, you recover faster. If you fall off the track, you get back on faster. The game speed in general seems much quicker than it ever has been before. Is it any good? Well, of course it's good. It's Mario Kart. I really wish the battle mode was better, and Mario Kart TV would be amazing if it had better options. But even with that, I enjoy this Mario Kart more than I have Mario Kart for the Wii or even Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 8 gets an 8 out of 10. If you own a Wii U, it's absolutely worth buying. Great racing, great online, and surprisingly gorgeous graphics makes this a game that you can play for a long, long time.